Good morning to you, saints of the Most High God. D the rest of this week, I want to focus on a message to the underdogs. Who are the underdogs? Underdogs are those who have the odds stacked against them. And if God don't come through for you, my God, you know you're going under. But the devil is a liar because he will come through. And on this morning, we are talking about trust God. He will give you victory. Your heart is going to be blessed and encouraged on this morning. Morning Prayer with Pastor Sean Pinder. All of the glory, all of the glory belongs to you. We love you, Master. And all of the glory belongs to you. We love you, Jesus. All of the glory belongs to you. All of the glory and all of the glory belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. Fight it, God. You deserve it. 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 Sing hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 In all the glory. In all the honor. In all the praise. You deserve it. You deserve it. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with everyone under the sound of our voices. Minister to your people on this morning. We cover them in the blood of Jesus and we continue to pray and ask for divine protection over your people in the midst of this pandemic. Bring this pandemic to a close, God. We join our faith and we ask this morning that you bring this to a close in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, whatever we ask, in Jesus' name you'll do it. I know you hear us this morning, God. In Jesus' name we pray, someone say, Amen. So good morning to you, saints of the Most High God. We have come to that time where we are going into the Word of God. And on this morning, like I said, we are talking about trust God. He will give you the victory, my God. And this brings us into a familiar passage of Scripture in the book of First Samuel chapter 17, talking about David and Goliath. David had to convince King Saul that he was able to go against this giant. Now you got to understand why I call this series this week a message to the underdogs. David had no experience in war. In fact, he was only 17 years old when his dad sent him to carry lunch to his elder brothers. And while he was there, he heard Goliath threatening the armies of Saul and the people of Israel. And David heart stirred because this young man had just been anointed by Samuel in 1 Samuel 16 to be the next king. And David began to rehearse his past victories in the presence of King Saul. David said, look, you don't understand. David said, when I kept my father's flock, there came a lion and there came a bear. And David said, I caught the lion by his bed. Lord have mercy. You know that's the Holy Ghost. The lion coming towards me, I'm heading in the other direction. It has to be the Holy Ghost on the man. So David said, I caught him and I slew him. My God. And then I slew the bear. And David said, the same 
God that delivered me from the lion and the bear. He is going to deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. You know it's good to go back over your past victories. There is strength. There is faith. There is inspiration. It uplifts you when you begin to go over your past victories of what God has done for you. This brings us into verse 38 because the Bible says, And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put a helmet of brass upon his head, and he armed him with a coat of mail, and David tried to go with it, and David could, didn't prove it. So David told Saul, man, I, I can't wear this stuff. I didn't prove it. And he took his staff in his hand in verse 40 and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had even in a scrip. And his sling was in his hand and he drew near to the Philistine. Listen, when God's getting ready to give you your breakthrough, that ain't the time to change your strategy. Do what's go with what's always been working fasting and praying and worshiping God and speaking in tongues and standing on the word. You know that's what worked in the past and it will always work. Hello, somebody. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David and the man that bare the shield went before him. The Philistine is coming with an armor bearer. All David got is the Holy Ghost with him, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And that's all you need to get the victory. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. You see, David it's an underdog. He had no experience in battle, ah, but he had experience with God. He had experience with the anointing of the Holy Ghost, for he was but a youth and ready and of a fair countenance. He was good looking. And the Philistine said unto David, am I a dog that you come to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. He was activating his demonic spirits but you can't have the, you can't allow the devil to have the last word the bible says life and death are in the power of your tongue and those who love it will eat the fruits thereof you got to open your mouth and talk back to the devil jesus talked back to the devil and he said man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of god you can't let the devil have the last word over your life because he will he will try to infiltrate and penetrate your spirit with fear and intimidation and he try to steal your faith so you got to open your mouth and begin to talk back glory to god begin to talk back to him right now say devil you are a liar you are you are you are so the Bible says the Philistine said to David, Come to me and I'll give your flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword and with a spear. It's my kind of guy here. And with a shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied this day. Man, he's not putting this thing off. David said, today, come on, Nadabasha. Glory to God. Someone lift your hands to heaven and say it today. God's going to give me the victory. Today, come on, don't put it off. Stretch yourself. Exercise your faith. Today, come on, Nadabasha. My God, my God. My God, Moses says, stand still and see the salvation of God, which he will show you today. My God, there is a today breakthrough. There is a, there is a today anointing. There is a today. Come on, the devil, sir. Somebody help me. Say, God's going to give it to me today. I'm prophesying under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Today, you going to get the victory. You going to get a breakthrough. You can get a turnaround. Somebody jump up and shout and just run through your house. Hey, if you're driving down the street, keep your eyes on the road, but open your mouth and say to die. Hey, feel the Holy Ghost. Today, God will. He'll give me the victory. He'll give me the breakthrough. He'll give me the rent money. He'll give me the car money. He'll give me the, my God, he'll make a way. Today, I feel a today breakthrough. I feel a today victory. I feel a today anointing. Shout yes. Shout yes. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. So 
the Bible says, David says, this day, this day, God's going to deliver you into my hands and I'm going to smite you and take your head from off your body and I'll give your carcasses, I'll give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, <laughs> and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass, the Philistine arose and went towards David, and he was hoping this little boy would run away. But to his, to his surprise, David ran towards him under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. He reached into his bag and pull out a smooth stone put it into his slingshot fly like a butterfly sting like a bee God is the greatest and he walks with me <laughs> I'm, I changed it Muhammad Ali a little saying up there <laughs> I used to love it but watch this so David swung that stone around and the Holy Ghost said turn it loose and when David wham he released it the only unprotected place on Goliath was that little spot right there in between his helmet. And the Holy Ghost, the stone landed right in his forehead. And the Bible said it sunk into his head. Boy, it felt like a rocket, like a missile hit him. And it stunned him. And he fell to the ground, knocked out, cold. And all David had was a slingshot and four more stones in his head. And he went and stood on the top of the giant. And when he stood on the top of the giant, David was a conqueror. But he didn't stop there. David said, wait a minute, I told the joke, I'm taking his head off. I'm gonna get rid of his headache. He looked down at Goliath's sword, the sword that Goliath had prepared and sharpened and put time and effort getting it ready for battle. David reached in and took Goliath's own sword no weapon form against me will prosper. Whack! His head separated and David grabbed his head and lifted it up. And when the armies of the Philistines realized that their giant was defeated, they began to run and flee. And when David took his head off, he went from being a conqueror to being more than a conqueror. Trust God. He will give you the victory my God my God my God he'll give you the victory and he gave it to David the same day God is able I want to pray for you come on lift your hands to heaven I cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ right now I cover you in the blood of Jesus no weapon form against you will be able to prosper I cancel the plans of the enemy. Every Goliath in your life, I bring him down today in the name of Jesus. I, we, me and Pastor Amy join our faith with you and we bring him down and separate the head from off of him. We defeat them. Every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, every spiritual wickedness in high places, we rebuke it in Jesus' name. We declare victory and breakthrough over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. He is a mighty God. I said he is a mighty God. Listen, the information is on the screen to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. The ministry PayPal account, the information is on the screen. You can also text to give. You can give through the ministry Zelle account, through the ministry Cash App account, and through the ministry mail-in address. You can mail your donations in. We just want you to know we love you. That's me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We don't take you for granted. Sing with me. Sing it. Oh, 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 oh. He's able, he's able, oh, 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 oh. Listen, we want you to go ahead.
you didn't have a chance, we want to invite you to subscribe to this channel right now. Click on the subscribe button. There are other videos right over here that will be a tremendous blessing to you. Me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you. God bless you. Bye-bye.